As the virus moves into the U.S., I mean, we still have to take a good travel history on the patient. Um, we also have to be uh, concerned that any other virus or mosquito-borne illness could be infecting the individual. As far as Zika virus goes uh, itself, I do think that the symptoms of fever, rash, joint pains, conjunctivitis still hold true. They're very vague symptoms, but with that and you're in the uh, proper location, warm weather with mosquitoes, um, it's something to consider in, the, in terms of testing. There is no commercially available Zika test. However, if we feel that a patient comes back from an endemic area and has symptoms such as fever, rash, joint pain, conjunctivitis, uh, we could contact an advanced laboratory and we can ask for specific molecular testing for Zika virus to determine whether or not uh, they are exposed. If they are pregnant uh, and we are concerned about the fetus, there is some testing that we can do on the fetus. Again, it has to be out to a specialty lab uh, in order to determine if there's been any exposure.